All right, we're going to look at a uh, real basic guillotine, uh, and we're going to do it in a scenario where our opponent's looking for the the double leg. Maybe um, you've watched some footage. You see they double leg uh, with their head outside a bit, which is which is real common. So when he's shooting in for the double here, I want my hips to be kind of like a little bit heavy, but not too heavy because I know I'm going to pull guard. I'm going to set my foot out to the side here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just make my hips a little bit heavy so he's gonna be forced to drive through. While this is happening, I'm gonna shoot this arm around and try and get my hand as high as I can. When I feel him drive through the double then, I'm gonna sit down with my legs over the top. This is already super tight. High elbow would be best. To finish this, it's real easy. What's happening on the inside here with the high elbow is I'm squeezing in like this. Okay, I want to use my legs to block him from jumping over. So in this position here, if my legs are real flat, he's going to hop over the top and it's going to be really tough to finish. Okay, if my legs up real high and my arms down, okay, it's going to be hard for him to jump over the top. So the legs lack like safety. But if you guys have been lucky enough to take high elbow, when you do have the high elbow and he jumps around, I can still get a tap. Okay, the high elbow protects you from the, the Von Flu and lets you uh, still hit the squeeze. So if there was one guillotine that I would suggest mastering first, it would be the high elbow. Okay, super high percentage, really powerful attack. So watch this video back and see if you can uh, add the high elbow guillotine to your defenses double